Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live on this Monday afternoon and heading into the evening hours. Traffic typically heavy on I-94. We still have some hazy skies, but the smell of smoke not too preclusive. A lot of heavy traffic at the interchange between I-94 and I-29 and temperatures were warming up. First alert weather day for tomorrow. Severe storms could be more widespread, number one. Number two, we'll have all severe weather threats, but in particular damaging thunderstorm winds, some hail and can't rule out tornadoes. We'll highlight everything in your hour by hour forecast here in just a minute. Right now, your temperature out at Hector International is warm. 83 degree reading, nine mile per hour winds gusting at times to 16 miles per hour. 60s, those dew points, those are on the rise as well with the southerly component bringing some of that Gulf moisture back up here into the northern plains. That sticky feeling air that fuels thunderstorms even into the nighttime hours. So for this evening, temperatures are 84 in the James River Valley, both Oaks and Jamestown. 80 for you in Grand Forks. We have 70s for Babe the Blue Ox now in Bemidji. That extends out into Pennington County and 80s, low 80s at that for Lakes Country, both Becker and Otter Tail County. Here's the sticky meter, if you will. Any of these readings near 70 means that that temperature only needs to be cooled to 70 before a cloud will start forming where condensation takes place. That's pretty juicy air. Air you can wear continues across the valley. Look at this radar showing a few sprinkles across lakes country, but thunderstorm just this isolated unit right there over the last two hours. Count them one, two. Uh, this storm has just stayed in the same spot north of Botno, just northwest of you and Rolla. It hasn't moved too far. Heavy rain, some hail from that cell. Here's your hour by hour forecast. Spotty showers and thunderstorms get more widespread. We're going to make it through the evening hours. Maybe an isolated storm. Better chance, though, as we head to bed tonight of some storms passing through. And yes, they could be strong. As we showed you earlier, there's a risk, a small risk of some severe storms. And the main reason why the risk is small is because the timing of this wave of energy moving over our area. Morning showers and storms can't be ruled out, but the real activity gets fired back up. Look at what's coming out of Canada in the morning. It may not pan out like this, but this model says, yep, we better watch for a line of very windy storms. See this backward C shape? Gusty straight line winds will be midday possibility for our northern counties, and this continues to push southward. Uh, this model has it running through the Fargo area at about 3.30 in the afternoon. We'll keep our eyes on the skies here. If there's anything nasty, we'll let you know on your Valley News Live weather app. Watch where they go. This wave moves south. It's these discrete cells in the afternoon that form over on this side of the storm system that I am going to be watching closely for some shear or spin in them as we head through the late day. Southeast North Dakota, East Central North Dakota. We'll watch it for you. Again, the risk of severe is there. This is where we'll have that greatest risk for maybe an isolated tornado on your day. Storms continue into the nighttime hours as well. Here's a look at your planning forecast then as we go through the next few days. First alert weather day Tuesday. Severe storms possible. Hot again on Wednesday with storms in the forecast in the morning in particular. Then we cool it off, but only a pinch. Still summer like out there, Stacy, for the first full week of August. <laughs> ah, sharpen your pencils because as we head towards late August and September and everybody gets ready to go back to school, we'll stay summer like. Well, that's good news. It is. Yeah, thanks, Hutch. Coming up, as more people become pet owners, some businesses are working to become more pet friendly. Details are next.